on Linux at some stage. Uh, but the thing with it, with HTC, they will always try to pretend they just signed this deal because they respect intellectual property, as they will call it intellectual property. And the truth is, as far as I know, based on sources that go a little bit deeper, uh, Microsoft threatened to sue HTC. It was going to sue HTC. And then they announced this kind of a cozy, nicey, low, you know, agreement, as they call it, and something to do with licensing uh, and trying to send out the message that a person who does a certain thing, like selling an Android phone, is supposed to get a so-called license, you know, like a TV license or something, and has to basically pay a tax to Balmer for, well, no lines of code for nothing. I mean, well, you know, you know my opinions on the... Yeah. Um... On, and I'll use the word again, the cross-licensing deals. Uh, I've made uh, my views pretty well known in my uh, in my blog many times, and that uh, I've made reference that if Microsoft can't make the products that people want to buy, then it'll cream a bit off the top of the people that do. I've got no issue with that. Um, what I do have an issue with, though, um, and I certainly still will refer to it as cross-licensing, because you get all these companies that enter into these deals with Microsoft, HTC, you've got the Kindle. Now, there's a lot of bleating going on that, uh, oh, Microsoft doesn't have a leg to stand on. Microsoft can't sue us, but um, it's got some invisible or secret patent issue that uh, it's not telling us about. Why are these people putting their money where their mouth is? If Microsoft's guilty of not uh, not disclosing what issues exactly it has with uh, Linux-based platforms, why aren't the companies that Microsoft is targeting standing up and saying, well, hang on a minute, we're Look, not going to stand for this? No, no, uh, Motorola. That's exactly yeah. what happens. That, that, that's uh, what that's I mean. for the weak ones first. And also, it's extremely expensive to do that. It's not very good for public relations. And Microsoft always tries to sell them and very quietly take them one at a time. And that's what they've been doing since 2007. Well, uh, HTC is certainly not weak. I, I'm not sure I, I should probably mention this. In Korea, recently, we had a... It was a, This was before the Cablegate situation. We we can see the, free, the so-called free trade agreements and how they're being used by the United States to push off our pants into Korea and to try to endorse these, which of course only serves the American companies, which in turn also have some subsidiaries in, in Korea. It's, 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 it's terrible. They basically try to serve the corporations there and to push their protectionist law uh, to, to countries beyond the United States to, to ensure that they cannot have competition that, that's being, being done domestically. Uh, <laughs> I mean that, that's very true. And whilst we, we we can we can make Microsoft or hold Microsoft responsible for bullying tactics, I think we also have to blame some of these companies uh, for allowing the bullying tactics to continue. I mean, last time I checked, certainly HTC wasn't by any means a small company. Um, they don't and, have uh, any patents, and they they would have fought they fought back against Apple. Look what happens with Apple. They even buy patents or reach out for patents and try to fight against Apple. Uh, Microsoft was endorsing the action first by Apple against uh, HTC, and I think that kind of scared HTC. And subsequently, uh, as far as I can tell, Microsoft was threatening to sue HTC, and HTC was already scared of one lawsuit, because HTC is not really a, a big accumulator of patents, and they don't play that game. Then they have these American companies coming with all this artillery of patents and adding more and more and more patents with the intention of them going out of the courtroom and saying, well, we give up here. How much do you want us to pay? To just leave us alone. Uh, and so far with Apple, at this HTC is trying to fight. So you can see they they aren't exactly here in, in, in conspiracy and they, they don't exactly uh, agree to the conditions imposed on them. Uh, but at the same time, they did actually, after using Linux or after using Android, they did agree to not fight back. Uh, Microsoft would not go against Google directly. They always do it via uh, Troll Allen or uh, any of the other trolls that they have that don't have the, uh, the, the, the threat of being sued back. So usually if Microsoft wants to sue any company, Microsoft has such a diverse uh, range of products. So it's really easy to sue Microsoft for something in hardware, in software, in, in broadcast, in anything. Uh, so they have to find some company to do the dirty job and this company cannot be sued back because they don't have any products, and that's what happens now, uh, which is really disturbing. And it just shows you how broken and utterly broken the patent system, especially in the United States, is, but increasingly also in other countries because they pass the same uh, kind of business model, uh, business method uh, patents and software patents and things like that. Well, 
let's move on. Uh, fascinating discussion. I'm sure we'll come back to this in a, uh, in a future episode of the, of the show. I think this highlights uh, how myself, Roy and Gordon both all have uh, very different views and uh, come from these subjects at completely different uh, angles. Um, I hope you found that an impromptu discussion, which wasn't planned at all. It was... Uh, very much a, a surprise to all of us, I think. I hope you found that interesting. Um, we'll just round up with a few other short pieces of news. Um, Gordon, have you? is there anything else you want to add, um, any short tidbits of news or anything you want to put in? Um, well, I know that there's... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, I was going to say, there was a couple of links, but Roy already mentioned uh, on one of them um, about the German um, music, uh, the equivalent of the performing rights people. Um, who are demanding that um, kindergarten kids in Germany pay up to, to, to sing nursery rhymes and things. So that, that was one of them. Um, it just shows you how, how low these people are willing to go to make a buck. Um, so, with a buck, buck here, and a buck, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> since it was that about was school kids. That, 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 that wasn't bad. <laughs> yeah, um, right. The other one is um, about the, the 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 news print industry, newspaper industry, um, had saw the iPad as their saviour, as something that was coming in and they could sell and make an iPad application, and that would be all their subscribers would go on, on online and they would all have iPads, and they would all sign up and buy that buy the iPad app from. The Times, Guardian, BBC, whoever, whoever the news source is, and then pay to subscribe to all that content. And then it turns out that after that initial hype and that initial gold rush of the, the newspapers all trying to get in on that, it turns out that the vast majority of them showed little to no imagination in actually making the applications, and that very few people are interested in getting them and subscribing to them because they just don't offer anywhere near the value for money that people are after. So the, the mythical paywall thing um, with the, these apps seems to be falling on its ass. Um, and the, the journalists and the news people are sort of scratching their heads going, right, OK, we thought that one was going to work. What now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, well, Roy, have you got any other tidbits that you want to throw up here? Just... Uh... Very quick piece of news before we look at um, rounding off the show uh, for got, the hour six. We've barely mentioned Linux, to be honest, but I think uh, it's been a pretty unusual show, and I, I, I'm, I'm partly to blame because I kind of started to talk about Microsoft to begin with. Uh, and the reason is I think in the coming week I'm going to have like 40 or at least 30 posts about uh, Microsoft issues. I've been catching up a bit. I, th- I think it's very relevant over for, since we just come off the back of the uh, the Christmas period and it's now uh, into the new year. So uh, I think it's very relevant. We discuss some of the uh, some of the issues that have uh, cropped up over over Christmas and uh, especially Absolutely. sales. And, and whilst the sales figures themselves aren't of interest to probably many Linux users, I think it's very interesting to see or try to see which way the markets may be heading into 2011. On that note. Um, something very unprepared here which Gordon or Roy doesn't uh, isn't aware of yet I want one prediction from both of you for 2011 it can be a tech prediction um, it's got to be something related with the, the tech industry in general um, so no football uh, predictions Gordon um, and I'll start What's off that? with <laughs> I'm thinking back to Christmas when we did the uh, I can't remember you made some reference to uh, football yeah, your, your yeah at this point, I'm, I'm going to say I was drunk that night, but no, I didn't. <laughs> no, <I'm cool. laughs> since, you, uh, since you pushed in football last time, uh, Gordon, now's your chance. You get the first go. What's your one tech prediction for 2011? Right. That's big two, one two, two, 2011 will be the year of Linux. No, you can't really do that. <laughs> no, it actually will be, but it just won't be called Linux. It's called something else. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, called, that, no, not just Android. It's called all kinds of things. But yeah, well, I, 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 I think I think 2011 will be an Android an Android year essentially. I, I can I can only see Android going from strength to strength. Um, it's going to be an interesting year as well because that will be various um, oracles lawsuits will be hitting, um, and that might disturb the, the various Android um, phones and tablets and whatever. Uh, and you've got more and more tablets. Apple seem to have opened the market for tablets, but people don't. They want a tablet. They want something that's good, that's functional, that's that's cool. 
but not necessarily Apple and Android. It doesn't certainly. sell so much, actually. It's more of a Western thing. You probably will hear it in the press in the, in, in the West, but uh, the I, I'm not sure how many they sold 